Hi, I'm Janelle Schaefer. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. This is Sheep Hill Herbs and I'm an herbalist and an artist and a writer and I'm really glad that you're here today. In today's video, I'm actually going to read and share a portion of my children's book that is recently self-published. It is available on Amazon and I have the link right down below in my description and it is called The Story of the Gluten-Free Kid. So let's get started. I can't wait to share. subscribe button, the bell button, the like button, and leave a comment down below. Just say, hi, I'm here. I'm, you know, I'm watching your channel. That would be awesome because your interaction helps this channel grow. So this is my children's story. I wrote it and did some of the illustrations. My children, who I based the characters off of in this book, also helped with the illustrating. Like I said, I'm an artist. I am a licensed art teacher. I do not uh, work in public school. I'm a homeschool mom and I have done private, lots of private classes, tons of private classes in my own artwork. So I have trained my kids from little on up to be good at drawing. Now, and like I said, art. this story is called The Story of the Gluten-Free Kid. So all of you gluten-free people out there, this is the book for you. Or if you have um, a relative, a friend, a granddaughter, a sister, a mom, a brother, someone who is gluten-free, this is the book for you to share with them. Share this video. Tell them about this book. So I have not found anything like this when I wrote this book. Most gluten-free books are cookbooks and um, great cookbooks have lots of great gluten-free recipes, but nothing like a story. So I made this about goats. This is what um, the cover that you're looking at right now is slightly different on Amazon because this is my actual first print that I had to edit. And I changed the cover a little bit, so when you go to the link, you'll see it a little bit differently. This picture is minimized or smaller, and then you can see the title more clearly. But um, I made this about goats because I wanted to call it the gluten-free kid. And um, it's, it's like an introductory story. I love Berenstain Bears. I wanted to have this be uh, a series and I wanted to like lead into it and then be able to have more stories. And this story in particular, I'm, I refer to going to a, a birthday party with pizza and what do my kids do? What do they eat? And at the end, um, I have a gluten-free pizza recipe that I came up with that we use and love and is a great alternative. And I've taken it to many different events where I knew there would just be pizza. So I wanted to like write stories for people that are trying to like go out or go to holidays, go to things and they are gluten-free and there may or may not be options for them. More than likely, not really many options. And if you wanna hear, if you want the whole story, you have to get the book. So let me just go to the first page and I will try to show you my pictures real nice and clear. This top picture is mine, um, it's watercolor. And then this bottom picture is one of my boys and that is colored pencil. And it says the Bean family lives in a cottage in a glen beneath the great Appalachia Mountains. Caliber is the oldest bean brother. I'm going to show you the pictures. That's another picture from one of my boys. This is my fruit bowl watercolor. That's another picture from one of my boys. He is a gluten-free kid. He and all his brothers and sisters are too. Besides caliber bean, they are clover bean, pomegranate bean, mullein bean, and yarrow and little yarrow bean. Every day they eat healthy meals that mama bean prepares. So if you haven't 
guessed it already. The characters are based off of um, their goats, but they have names of plants and herbs. And um, I interweave herbs and, and uh, natural foods into this story because I'm an herbalist. All the bean kids eat gluten-free, so Mama Bean does not buy grains with gluten like wheats, wheat, oats, and rye. She does buy rice, buckwheat, chia seeds, and many types of nuts and heaps of veggies. At market, she searches for the freshest ingredients. Some of the kids' favorites are apples, kale, lettuces, artichokes. Okay, I'm going to just do two more pages. Here's the kids, the goat kids. This is my watercolor. Here's the other picture. Okay. It was not always this way for the bean kids. Mama Bean had been noticing something was wrong with Caliber when he would eat pizza. His nose would become red and stuffy. His food tasted delicious with the soft fluffy bread and gooey cheese, but left him feeling awful. At lunchtime, if the kids had peanut butter and jelly on toast, Caliber would become itchy and scratchy. Mama Bean believed something must be done. A little goat should not act this way after eating his food, thought Mama Bean to herself. And then I'm going to leave the cliffhanger here. This The kids are going to go see Dr. Golden Seal, the chiropractor, and he's going to do nutrition with them. And uh, you'll have to read the rest of the story. So I'm really excited about this book. I really am. It's something I wrote a couple years ago, and I just self-published it now uh, but I really feel like it's going to resonate with a lot of people who need it I think it's going to be a story that um, little kids really like and uh, I'm just so happy to get it out there please share it please share this vid video and I have a free gift it is um, all you need to know about making herbal tea it is my ebook and if you go to the very first link in the description down below you can get it by subscribing here and then heading over to uh, the link, which is my newsletter, signing up for the newsletter, putting in the space and the subject, free tea book, free um, herbal book or something like that. And I will email it to you. And um, again, thank you so much for coming and share this video with your gluten-free friends. <laughs>